Today we're gonna to be doing something that has been suggested many, many times. Probably it's the most suggested thing I've ever gotten, which is terraform the sun. So we're gonna to start today by terraforming the sun, and then we have a few other things that you guys suggested that we're also gonna be doing in Universe Sandbox today. Okay, so here's the sun. Um, how are we gonna terraform it? So terraform means to make it like Earth. Um, I'm actually going to do a empty simulation for this. We're gonna get the sun, and so first of all, the sun has too much mass. So I'm trying to think of a way we could get rid of the mass. Maybe if we throw something at it. So I'm gonna try throwing Jupiter at the sun to see if we can kind of knock some off okay that definitely just gave the sun more so what if we launch it like this but then we give it more speed so it kind of like breaks off chunks of the sun make it 10 times as fast as it was going here we go it's going really fast Ooh, maybe it looks like it's just giving the sun more mass so this might not be working oh no wait look the mass is getting knocked off it's only 90 percent now but as some of these fragments go back in, it's going to go back up. But that's working. Let's see if we can keep doing that and get um, some more mass knocked off of it. Like if we keep going like this for a long time. Did that do anything? <gasps> it's working. Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to do this. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what is that now? 71, this is gonna take forever. Okay, I'm just gonna help that out a little bit. But you can see that that definitely worked. So if we kept doing that, it would take so long, but I'm just gonna kind of speed this up by turning the mask down manually until something happens. So if we kept knocking stuff off for like a long, long time, eventually it's gonna turn into a brown dwarf, which looks like this. And we would keep knocking mass off until this gets a little bit smaller. We want it less than Jupiter. Okay, probably about here, actually a little more. Okay, we'll still make it like a mega Earth. We'll make it 6.7 times the mass of Earth. So this is our planet now. This was the sun. You can, you can see it's still called the sun. Okay, um, I'm going to start by changing its mass or its composition. Instead of it being 100% hydrogen, we want it to be iron core and then silicate also. Something like this. And you'll see that'll turn it from a gas giant to a rocky planet. Okay, so already, look, it even has marks from where we threw stuff at it. Wow, okay, so I wonder if I could fill those with water. Are those even higher? Those look like craters, but they're actually not. You can see it actually fills in everywhere else before it fills in there. Okay, but we're gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna add an atmosphere now. We're gonna do that pretty thick, actually, because this planet is a lot bigger than Earth is. Okay, okay. Um, so now we're gonna need a star. So we're gonna name this Terraformed Sun, and then save it. Okay, we're gonna need this in a solar system. So I'm gonna add it to our solar system. Okay, I'm gonna put it right between Venus and Earth because that's gonna be good for life right there. And okay, this is looking good already. I wonder what its life likelihood is like now. 29.9 already, just from shrinking it, adding water and an atmosphere. Okay, so what we can also add is a magnetosphere, which is gonna protect it from the solar radiation. So if we turn this on, we're gonna be able to see it. And then I think we're gonna want it like, what, six Earths? Uh, that's gonna be a little too big something like that. So you can see that this is like a shield basically. So when the solar radiation hits, it bounces off this instead of hitting the planet. And also some of our orbit things we can help. Rotational period, that's almost good. One day is gonna be a little better. Average temperature is still pretty warm if you look at that. So let's switch this to 15 Celsius. Um, and it looks like our atmosphere is actually a little too thick because it's getting more heat than it needs. So I'm going to turn down our atmosphere a little bit. Okay, there we go. What's our life likelihood now? 45.6. Okay, that's pretty decent. Uh, let's give it a little moon just to like, so it's kind of like Earth, you know, with a little, oh my gosh, is that moon habitable? Just randomly, that would be so funny. It is. Well, 8%, that's pretty good. Just randomly. So there's a terraformed sun with a habitable moon on accident. That, wow. Okay, there you go. Okay, similar to our last suggestion, this one involves the sun. And the suggestion is replace the sun with UI Scooty. So UI Scooty was the former largest star before Stevenson 218 was discovered. So this is a solar system here. And if you see, I pick up UI Scooty, you can see how big it is compared to the solar system. So if we're replacing the sun with it, oh my gosh, it's gonna immediately eat every single planet up to Mars and Jupiter, it looks like. Yeah, it'll eat Jupiter too. It'll basically extend to the orbit of Saturn. So let's just add it and see what it does. Oh my gosh, there it is. Okay, so, whoa, where did the velocity come from? Why is it moving? I just placed it there, I thought. Well, that completely destroyed the solar system. So we're gonna take the sun and slowly start increasing the radius instead of just 
immediately throwing in a huge star. But we're gonna also unlock the mass, so it's also getting more mass too. So you can see it's starting to pull harder on all the planets, and you can see they're curving in more. Whoa, look at that, it's like spiraling everything in just because the mass is so much higher. We're gonna keep going with this. Oh, the mass is actually getting really high, so I'm gonna start raising the radius. I'm surprised these things haven't gotten absorbed. Oh, it looks like a few things did. But if we keep going, going. Okay, it's about one AU now. So if Earth didn't get pulled in, Earth would be right outside of this right now. Let's keep going. Oh, what happened? I think I the density got so low it just ceased to exist. It's like the whatever the opposite of a black hole is, that's what just happened to it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that same thing again, but I'm not gonna lock the mass at all. So we're just gonna do it really quickly and just let the mass go and see what happens. You can see the mass is getting insanely high, like way higher than it should be, I think. There we go, it just created a black hole like instantly. You can see there's even like a burning effect on the edge of the black hole. I've actually never seen that in Universe Sandbox. And keep turning up the radius until it just gets, you know, insanely big. It is now as big as 3.6 Milky Ways. Okay, our next suggestion is one where we actually give life instead of destroy it. Uh, we're gonna try to make Pandora the moon of Earth. So Pandora is that moon slash planet from Avatar uh, that all the whatever, the blue people, you know, they live on it. <laughs> but that that's actually a moon, it's not a planet. Uh, so we're going to kind of create a custom moon here on Earth and try to make it like Pandora. So first of all, it's gonna have a lot of forests on it. So we're gonna need a little bit of water, but just enough to like kind of fill in the yeah like that because all this is going to be rainforest area and we can do that by adding the vegetation onto it you can see already like covered in vegetation which is perfect we're also going to want a pretty thick atmosphere maybe not that thick something like this if you've seen my actual dedicated pandora video i added city lights and made them blue like the bioluminescence that you can see in the movie so i'm going to do that again i actually think we need a little bit more water there we go, that's looking really good. Okay, what's our life likelihood? 2.2, ooh, okay, it actually dropped to zero. Um, I think I can make it a little bit higher if I add a tiny bit of hydrogen, because you can see all the water just disappeared. Add back the water, adjust some things in here. There we go, we're getting 3.3%. It's really hard actually to get good mass on, or get good life likelihood on moons. The problem is, I don't think we can make it as big as Pandora actually is, because Pandora is orbiting a gas giant. So if we make it too big, it'll become more like binary with Earth, which it looks like I already did. Um, but that definitely could have helped with our life likelihood. 16.3. Okay, we're gonna have to call it there. But there's Pandora. Whoa, I accidentally, I guess adjusting the mass made the sea level go up. Something like that. But if you want to see a more in-depth video on this, um, click the iCard here. I did, a, I did a whole video just on making this moon. Okay, our next suggestion says set up planet's atmosphere level to a million. So we're going to use Earth for this. Um, and it's basically going to turn into Venus. We're just going to keep making the atmosphere thicker and thicker, and we're going to see what happens to it. So in order for us to see what's going on, I'm actually going to make the opacity manually not as thick. We're just gonna go in here and make the atmosphere mass a million, you said. So that's a thousand, 10,000, 100,000, a million. Okay, so now the mass is one million times as thick as it was. This is what it would look like, but I'm turning this down manually so we can see what happens to the surface. Let's see. So immediately nothing really. I mean, if this was us, we would just not be able to see the sky anymore. Um, is this affecting the temperature at all? Okay, slowly it is. Uh, let's just speed up time and we'll give it some time to... Okay, it's it's rising pretty rapidly now. You can see all the plant life died. Um, I think after enough time, it'll actually start to like... Yeah, look, the whole thing's becoming molten. It's just because it's trapping so much heat from the star. So this is what would happen if the atmosphere got a million times thicker. It actually doesn't burn it up. It just gets it super, super hot. I mean, yeah, the life likelihood's probably zero. Oh, it's not zero. It is very 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 close to zero though how high can i make it i think this is probably the limit because it's not really getting much hotter so i'm just gonna manually turn up the heat and see what happens yes okay we need to slow time down actually 
or we're going 55 years a second. So I bet if that happened instantly, you could still live out the rest of your life and you wouldn't burn because it takes so long for the planet to heat up. Oh, there we go. And it's blue and the whole thing gets destroyed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have suggestions, once again, put them in the comments of this video or any of my videos, really. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.